Hey guys, Anthony here with an example of the morph transition in PowerPoint 2016. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the morph transition, and in that video, I showed you several examples of the morph animation. Several viewers requested a video tutorial on this example number two, which you're seeing right now. So let me show you how. So here I've got PowerPoint 2016 open with an image from freepick.com. The first thing we need to do is duplicate the image five times. To do so, right click on the slide in the left side panel and choose duplicate slide. Alternatively, you can click on the slide and then use control D on your keyboard to duplicate the slides. So now we have six identical slides like so. Next, I'll click on the second slide and go to the insert tab under shapes and basic shapes. I'll insert the oval shape and draw it on the slide like so and then reposition it on the first character. Next under shape outline I'll choose no outline. I'll right click on the shape and choose format shape and under the fill section I'll change the transparency like so. Then I'll copy the shape using control C and I'll paste it on the next three slides using control V like so. Next I'll go back to the second slide. I'll click on the image in the background and while I have the shift key pressed on the keyboard, I'll click on the shape. So essentially we've selected both the image and the shape. Next I'll go to the format tab under drawing tools and under merge shapes, I'll choose intersect. So we're just left with one cropped image. Next I'll go to the third slide, reposition the shape and use the same process to crop the image like I showed you earlier. I'll repeat the same process for the fourth and the fifth slides. So here we have all the six slides ready. Now let's use the magic of the morph transition. To do so select slides two through six by left clicking and using the shift key on your keyboard. Next go to the transitions tab and apply the morph transition and in the timing section you can change the speed of the animation. I'll go with 1.25 seconds. I'll also change the background color of the slides to a light gray color like so. Now if I play the slideshow you will see how the animation came out and you can see it looks pretty good and it was simple to do. Here's another variation of the same slides where I increase the size of the cropped images, reposition them on the slide and added some animated text. And here's how it came out.